Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Sidek Guru. In today's video, I'll let you do the speed test and the RAM management test comparison between the Moto H20 versus OnePlus Nord 2 device. And this is my day one of using the Moto H20. Let's see which phone will be able to open these games faster and how many games can be there in the background RAM management. That is what I'm going to exactly demonstrate in this video. And during this process, I did include nine small games and one big game, which is a Badigons mobile game. As you can see, it's exactly there's one game, which is a Badigons mobile game. Let's see which phone can actually store this background games in the RAM management. That is what I'm going to exactly compare in this video. And first, let's start doing the reboot test between both phones. And Moto H20, which has got the Snapdragon 778G processor and uh, OnePlus Nord 2, which has got the Dimensity 1200 chipset. And in this process, I'm not using any kind of high performance mode in the OnePlus Nord 2. That's the one thing you should definitely understand. So using the high performance mode will definitely boost a lot of performance in this phone. But at this point, in this first speed test, I'm not using. So maybe in the next speed test, I'll definitely try to use it. Hello. So next speed test, definitely I'll try to use friends and uh, is a uh, Moto first booted up and now the OnePlus Nord 2 is taking some time. So first let's check the Wi-Fi connection because both phones should be connected to the same kind of Wi-Fi connection. That is the reason I'm trying to show you exactly the Wi-Fi option. Because we do have the Badogans mobile game, so which is online games, obviously you need the Wi-Fi connection to be connected. So that's the reason I'm trying to show you exactly. And right now OnePlus Nord 2 is kind of taking its own time and uh, here we go with the Wi-Fi connection and it's turned on. And is a 2.4 GHz is turned on successfully. And let me try to disable the dark mode because I don't want to use a dark mode at this point. And clearing everything from the background RAM management. Everything is completely clean from the RAM management, as you can see, friends, clearly. Even I need to clear everything from the RAM management as well, even from here. So as you can see, there is nothing running in the both phones background RAM management. So let's get started, friends. Which phone will be able to open these games faster? That is what I'm going to exactly compare. Slightly eliminate the zoom in so you'll be able to focus properly. So first, let's start with the surface of game. One, two, three. Let's see. Snapdragon versus Dimensity 1200. And uh, here comes the winner. So Snapdragon 778G did open slightly faster than the H20. I mean, than the OnePlus Nord 2 Dimensity processor. So first, game H20 and second game Candy Crush uh, slightly faster H20 and this is a test without using high performance mode I'm trying to mention again and again because if you use high performance mode the results will be slightly better in the Nord 2 yes so without using high performance mode I'm trying to do and H20 is trying to open now next game is a temple run game one two three Let's see this temple game, which phone can actually open Snapdragon or the Dimensity. I think Snapdragon 778G did open slightly faster, as you can see. And next video, I'll try to do on the camera comparison. So make sure to stay tuned for those videos on the camera comparison as well. That's going to be really interesting. So next is a Badigons mobile game, one, two, three. So Badigons mobile game, which phone can actually open this one first? And don't forget to follow the playlist which are created for the Moto H20 users. So in case if you're planning to buy the Moto H20, this playlist you need to watch compulsory, 100%. Only then you can actually decide whether to proceed with this phone to buy or not. Right now, first phone to boot up and open the home screen is the Moto H20, as you can see exactly. Now let's go to the home page. And uh, next is a Crossroads, Crossroads, this game. This game is not a very big game, so overall only one big game I did include first is a Nord 2 device in this case. And next is Traffic Rider. This game also not bad, so both phones at the same time, absolutely. And next is Ilkram Racing. And both phones I did add all the games into the game tool and game space and game center as well. Basically game enhancement, that is what I mean. So I did add all the games as well. Right now both phones are loading and I did decrease slightly the brightness. Let me just slightly increase the brightness. Yes. So now you'll be able to see it clearly, the brightness. So right now both phones are booting up and loading. Let's see which phone can actually load fast. H20. Yes, as you can see H20. So uh, 
wait for my next speed test comparison where i'll be using the high performance mode then you will be able to understand the final conclusion and final result what is happening same game so i'll try to use the high performance mode and i'll be back so very soon so this is a basic comparison which i'm trying to do because one thing few of the users did request me you to use to not to use not to use high performance mode in the oneplus not to because as an average user they won't use high performance mode that is what it meant and these are 10 games which i did open in the background so let's proceed with the ram management testing from last game one by one so how many games can actually be open in the both phones let's see the badrugans mobile game can it be there in the background ram management or not because that's a game which is available exactly in the middle so in the middle i did keep wantedly the badrugans mobile game so till crossy roads not an issue and after this after this and here is the badrugans mobile game you can see in both phones Badrugans mobile game in the background let's see h20 can open or oneplus not 2 can open which one can open this game one two three boom both phones not an issue yes that's good to see both phones did keep the Badrugans mobile game in the faster i mean in the ram management and after the Badrugans mobile game temple run game one two three boom so temple run, temple run game got closed in the oneplus not 2 clearly you can see the proof what is happening and the stock UI experience is really good to have for this kind of RAM management and multitasking, which is really great. And I did observe for the past few hours of using, few of the applications and games were in the background RAM management even after a long time than usual. That's the first of its kind I'm saying because this is my first time using the stock experience, that is the reason. So right now the Candy Crush did open faster in the H20 and Subway Surf also got open in the first in the H20. So all out of 10 games, 10 games did open in the RAM management in the H20 device. Whereas the OnePlus Nord 2 did open till Badrugans mobile game, which is six games did keep in the background RAM management. So both are 8GB RAM variants only I'm trying to use in this video for the demonstration. And now is a final test, which is to open the last game again, just to check the confirmation. What is happening? This game, one, two, three. So even this, I forgot about this game to open, sorry friends. So even this game is there. And last game is a stake balls, I think. Yes, this game, one, two, three. Still is there in the RAM management. Angry Birds, it's there in the RAM management. It got closed in the OnePlus Note. This is a random RAM management, which I'm trying to do, just to confirm what is happening. Still it's there, as you can see here, friends. So clearly in the RAM management, the H20 has been winner and the speed test also slightly the H20 also got equal points, both phones, yes. So if you use high performance mode, the results will be different. I'll need to do another video very soon. So that's it, friends. Thank you for watching this video and overall the points slightly kind of goes to the H20 in terms of the RAM management and the UI. So this is not the problem with the OnePlus Nord 2, but it's the problem with the UI because of OxynOS and the ColorOS mixing, that is when the problem has been started. In my previous ex uh, experience with the OnePlus phones with the OnePlus 8T, which can actually store 10 out of 10 games perfectly all right in the OnePlus 8T. As soon as they got mixed up, it completely gone away with the RAM management. It's not working like before. So that's the one disadvantage which I did notice. So thank you for watching. See you in the next video of Unleashed State for more updates. And don't forget to check the playlist for more details as well. See you in the next video of Unleashed.